Hey, turn with me, if you would, to the first chapter of Revelation. We're going to give you an opportunity to sow, sow. We just watched White Christmas the other night. Uh, have you all ever seen that? You have? White Christmas. It's amazing. Uh, it's an older show, but my, my daughter and my family, uh, we love it. We were watching it. And uh, Bing Crosby was getting it, and Danny Kay was getting it. I was looking at all these guys. I mean, man, these guys can dance. I mean, they're no turbo from breaking, but still. <laughs> uh, let's, see, let's see Danny Kay do something with Tour de France. Anyway, I'm kidding. So anyway, we're watching it, and you know they get that part where they're singing snow, snow. And I was sitting there thinking, that's what we ought to do, so... So, so, anyway, I don't care if you don't get it. So, uh, praise the Lord, we're going to sow tonight, amen. amen. I, I was asked this every now and then, periodically I'm asked this, seems like over the years quite a bit. They've been asking me, you know, you know what's, the, what's the best way to see the word of God work in operation, especially in the area of finances, if you want to find out where somebody's heart is, start talking about finances. Everybody wants to win the lottery. You know, I say collectively, everybody. Everybody wants to win the lottery. Everybody wants to get a stim check. Everybody wants to have needs met. But it's amazing the little part, the little part, say the little part. The little part that we're asked to do, we don't do that because why? We're fighting God the whole time. Guess who used to do that? You're looking at the top example. Because when you grow up with needs being met effortlessly by your family, by your dad, by your mom, whatever, it's real easy to look at other people and call them con artists because all they're doing is talking about sowing, reaping, being blessed according to the word, giving, tithing, all these things that I was fighting. As a matter of fact, when I went down to Florida, I moved down to Florida to go uh, to help in that church. And, and my brother went to Rama. So while he's at Rama, I'm down in Florida. Who, who do you think smarter? I thought I was because there was a lot more beach and palm trees than there were any here. <laughs> but I ended up going to Rama, so I guess he was smart. But what happens is, is that when you're looking at your life and, and everything's met, you know, you're, you, you've got, you know, you've got a trust fund. There's many people in here that never had had that, that trust fund even set up for them. I grew up, I was born into a trust fund setting. I never saw it because my dad ended up liquidating everything, taking, taking off and the whole thing, mafia. I've told the story. And, and so I never saw anything, but I did grow up with some of those benefits. But it set me up to look at God as somebody who gives and somebody who takes away. Come on, the good Lord giveth and the good Lord taketh away. You've heard people preach like that and say, God is not a take away God. He is a give and give and increase and increase. He does it because he wants you blessed more than your parents wanted you blessed, more than you want your blessing. He wants you so blessed that you turn around and give him all the glory. Come on, now what kind of dad doesn't want their kid to be blessed? Jesus even dealt with this in Matthew and he said to them, when a child asks his father for some bread, does he give him a rock? No, because God doesn't look at you as Charlie Brown. Is Brandon the only one in here that watches the same shows that I watch? <laughs> I mean, Charlie Brown goes up and he's wanting some, some he's a good kid. He's borderline oppressed. But he still has a good attitude for as much as everybody dogs him. Lucy. God, that girl's... I mean, come on now. She even wore a witch's costume when she was Halloween trick-or-treating. And all Charlie wanted to do was fit in and be a part of the gang. And even the parents of other houses kept throwing rocks into his bag. We got to stop looking at God as every time we go to him, he's going to maybe hand you out rocks. He did give you a rock, the rock of your, his salvation, the rock of your salvation, so that you and I wouldn't ever have to have bunches of little rocks thrown into our bag. He wants you blessed. What is so hard about believing that? 
Revelation chapter 1. And again, I was the worst example of somebody, and I'm going to stay on this for as long as you guys keep giving me this attitude. (laughs) In Revelation chapter 1 and verse 6, and hath made us kings and priests unto God and his Father. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. He made us kings and priests, not kings or priests. Kings and priests. Peter says we're a royal priesthood. Do you understand that a king does not have pauper characteristics? What does a king look like? What does a king have first and foremost? The king has a position. He's got authority. But what else does he have? A king cannot be a king without a kingdom. So he's got a kingdom. And he placed that kingdom in you and I. And we can tap into it as kings and priests at any time. I'm telling you right now, when the pastor got up in Florida that I was under, and he would be good, he was strong, he was a great teacher, especially on finances, but I always shut him down. You know why? Because I went by feeling and not by word. I went by what I thought. What God's going to talk about that? That's private. Well, that's selfish also because all of my needs were being met pretty well until my parents went through a divorce. My dad ended up disappearing and found out he was in the mafia. Now nothing was coming in. So guess who started listening to the teachings that I was bashing, listening to the teachings that I was fighting, and guess how long that took me? The more I complained about being blessed, the more it took for me to get blessed. When blessings would come my way, pride would rise up, and I'd say, I don't deserve this but it got to a place to where at one point I was on my knees and the Lord was saying to me he says the day you believe you're blessed the day you realize that you're blessed your whole life will change forever he says I've called you to be my son I've called you to be a king I've called you to be mine and mine are taken care of the moment you believe it the moment you act like it the moment you begin this process and start saying it out of your mouth acting on it That's the moment your life will change forever. Now, now what used to be a harvest, we're now sowing. (laughs) He's made us kings and priests. Say say this, he's made me me. a king and a priest. Not just to anybody, but unto him and his father, so that he will get the glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Get a hold of this. He made you because you weren't before. How many in here would like to say, you know, I'd like to feed a family at Thanksgiving? Let me see at least one hand. Okay, good. We got some other Christians in here that probably wouldn't give anybody anything. I'm serious. What is the thing? This is interactive. This is not entertainment. You just located yourself. It's interactive. Who in here, if you could bless somebody and help them and not miss it, you would lift your hand and say, I would do it. Why wouldn't you? Why isn't your faith out there to bless somebody to do that? One thing I always saw my mom do every Christmas was get all of these gigantic boxes of toys to give to kids that did not have a good Christmas. I'm sitting there looking at these boxes and I'm sitting there as a kid. I'm going, wow, this is how it's supposed to be. How many of you in here would bless a young kid if you had it within your means to do it? Sure. How many of you can't lift your hand for anything because the selfishness is it's how much you can get? Now your hand went up. All right. What I want to put into your spirit is this. Because it's sad that this stinking area always has to have this broken through and hammered and jackhammered every single time. You have a little break and you see how carnal things get. 
How do we break past this? I go, God, give me more seed to sow this year than I've ever had before in my life to sow. You see that? Will God give you more seed to sow than you've ever sown before in your life? Yes, Yes, why? Because he gives seed to the sower. sower. Say, I'm a sower. sower. Say, he gives me seed. seed. A lot of seed to sow. sow. That is kingdom principle. And you can fight me all you want. But I'm probably one of the few in here that have faced foreclosure twice. Probably one of the few that have faced getting your car collected, is what they call it, collected. It's repossession. But I won't allow it because my car was never possessed. I'm probably also one of the few in here that have faced foreclosure and got out of it both times supernaturally. I'm probably one of the few in here that had their car being collected in the midst of that and all of a sudden having it paid off for supernaturally. How does that happen? Probably one of the few in here where we were given a a house, a brand new house by somebody who didn't even like us at the time. How? Because I got on my knees and crying out to God saying, what's wrong? He said, if you'll stop fighting me and start accepting that you are blessed, you will operate as a king and your whole life will change forever. So guess what? Now, instead of going around and hinting, I need something, and going around and praying out loud, because when I was in prayer school, I remember as a student, you know, there's always a guy that looked at what you dro- drove and looked at, at, you know, what you wore or whatever, and they always thought you had something. So they would always go and kneel down to pray next to you. You're in there praying for Africa and the souls of Africa and praying for China, and you're praying for the bamboo curtain to come down, and then you got this guy next to you going, do 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 that was his tongue that was all he did was at one point i'm just like god break him through he's a dodo give him a breakthrough he's like praying i'm a dodo do 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 lord you know if i don't pay my tuition today you know if i don't get that money in there today that they're gonna kick me out of school yes why are you telling him that god we gotta stop praying to god like we're cnn reporters Well, God, you know that if I don't pay my water bill, yeah, yeah, if nobody pays their water bill, yeah, it's going to be cut off. I'm God. I'm omni. I'm not. I'm. 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 I'm not. I'm omniscient. <laughs> I know everything. If you don't pay your electric bill, it's going to get cut off too. Pretty, pretty easy word of knowledge for God. Come on now. You don't have to go to God and say that He knows ahead of time. So instead of saying that, well, you have not because you ask not. You also have not because you don't obey the Bible. So what would happen if I went ahead and sowed what God told me to sow, and got excited about the harvest regardless of circumstances? There are people in this house right now that are going to give a shout of praise and shout amen when I say this. But 2020 was not the year that the devil wanted it to be. It was what God intended for it to be. And you can say you are still blessed this year anyway. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Well, if you really are a king and you really are a priest... It's because he made you that way, not because you made yourself that way. So that's why it's been a struggle for us to act like kings and priests sometimes. Because we were made one. We didn't go around trying to become one. We didn't try to study to be one. So what does a king do? What does a king do? Does a king, does a king keep moving when, when Micaiah is trying to take a picture? Does a king sow like a pauper? What is a pauper so like? Well, two cents, right? One cent. No, a widow woman gave two cents, two mites, and it was bigger than all the other stuff that the others had sown. Now, why is that such a big deal? Because God's not looking at the amount. He's looking at the ratio in your heart. 
He's looking to see what you'll do with what you have, not with what you want. Well, Lord, one day when I win the lottery, one day, Lord, when I get that settlement, Lord, one day you'll never get the lottery, you'll never get the settlement. He wants to see what you're going to do with your $5.50. He's going to want, he wants to see what you're going to do with that 10 bucks that just came in. Well, it's just 10 bucks. It's, uh, 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 it's just two mites. Are y'all all right? So y'all ready to sow tonight? <laughs> Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Well, shout, I'm a king and a priest. And I act like it. Praise the Lord. So you can give by Cash App. You can give the cash tag Life Revolution. If you have Cash App, it's very simple. Just look us up. Life Revolution, one word. You can find us that way. If you don't have Cash App, that's okay. You can download our app. Praise the Lord. Our app is real easy. You download it at the App Store, or you can download it on Google Play if you have an Android. Our app is amazing. We keep it updated all the time. Amy does a great job at keeping that updated. Uh, she puts little things on there, too. Like, I think what's going to be on there probably by tonight is a picture of Robert in his onesie Grinch outfit. Let's not do that. Although we may end up getting way more uh, subscribers that way. And then also you can type or, or text the word life rev, L-I-F-E-R-E-V. You can text it to 888-364-G-I-V-E which also is 4483. And then you can also uh, give online. If you're watching online, go to our website, liferevolution.church. Or if you're watching online and you want to make it even easier, work with our good friends at Good World. Do hashtag donate. Write it out. Pound sign. Hashtag D-O-N-A-T-E. Saw one person put D-O-N-U-T one time. And I'm like... We ain't working with Krispy Kreme, although I would be open to that. Praise the Lord. That way we can, you know, you eat. Yeah, donate a donut or a dozen. Praise the Lord. Don't be stingy. So anyway, hashtag donate and then the amount. So like hashtag donate 50, 100, whatever, and then they'll take care of you. Praise the Lord. And then you can mail it in. Snail mail works too. P.O. Box 3163. Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, 74013. All of this information, I think, is online, too. And then most of the people here know you can give by check, Life Revolution Church, or credit card uh, through the envelope. So I believe the ushers already handed out the envelopes. Is that right? Praise the Lord. This is a good-looking crowd, man. I, you look different without a tent, but that's okay. <laughs> I bind those Jezebel spirits. <laughs> Will this be anointed still if you're on my left? Praise the Lord. That makes me Mr. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Come on now, y'all done? You know, Brother Hagen used to say, you spell thousand, T-H-O-U-S-A-N-D. You spell million, M-I-L-L-I-O-N. But see, no, if I say that, they're like, no, you, you, you don't talk like that. But Brother Hagen talks like that. You're like, oh, it's okay. He's older. Are you kidding me? He literally had in one of his meetings, one person came up and donated $1 million. The next time they had another million dollars came in. This is, and it all goes into reaching souls. How many of y'all want to be a part of reaching souls and winning the loss? Come on, glory to God. Getting into our own building, which I know is coming up soon. I also want to say, uh, too, before we get going, there is a very strong, I, I think we're already going to do it, but starting in January, we're going to have multiple services here every week. Yeah. And those six people that got excited, you're going to be so blessed to be with us. So anyway. Before we get going here, if you need Christmas pictures this holiday, I want to encourage you to get in touch with Melissa Clink. She's right here. She's right here. She's right here. And uh, that's, uh, wow, she's looking into my soul. 
But here's her number. Please take it down. Just check it out. She's also on Facebook, Melissa Clink Photography, 918-609-0078. And uh, we highly recommend her. We've used her the last two years. Uh, we've used her for passports, Christmas pictures, and then also my mug shot, if, if ever needed. Yeah, you remember? Because of the, the police coming, I said, I want to have my own mug shot professionally done. And you were amazing. Yeah, and then... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so get in touch with her. She's got holiday specials going on. She's got great Christmas deals. So get in touch with Melissa Clink Photography. Again, on Facebook, 609-0078. Are y'all ready? Let's go ahead and stand to our feet. We're going to sew here in just a minute. Father, I thank you and praise you that as we give, it shall be given back unto us. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. Shall men give back mightily unto us. I I thank you, Lord, that we're kings and priests, not kings or priests. I thank you that we give you all the glory and honor. We thank you that if you've made us kings, we're going to act like it. We're not going to live a pauper life and call it humility. We're going to humble ourselves and walk in what you've made us. I thank you that this night there are people that are living in a new realm, a new realm of prosperity, every need met according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. I thank you that there is no lack, there's no debt, all of forgiven it's all paid off up front on time plenty left over in jesus name so that we can be a blessing to give back to others i call you blessed in the name of jesus your life will never be the same if you agree with that shout in jesus name, jesus name. Amen. amen 